so in the last session we have seen that uh, like uh, how to design the rectangular footing especially the isolated rectangular footing and uh, what important steps you have to take to have the uniform contact pressure and uh, how the distributions of reinforcement will be and uh, the direction of movement and accordingly how to decide the direction of the reinforcement and it's a duration uh, is a distribution everything we have covered in the last session in detail okay now uh, all the things that we completed till now just forget those all things just forget those all things okay one more important thing that we have seen in the last session like we are taking the validation of your csi uh, log sorry your excel sheets whether your uh, excel sheets giving the right result or not so we validate uh, the results of the your excel sheet with your manual calculation so that also a very important step we did in the last session okay so manually manual design of your isolated square or rectangular footing we have completed and as a validation with your CS, uh, with your excel sheets or you can say the validation of your excel sheets with the manual calculation we did in the last session okay but what i am saying that forget that uh, that all things we have completed now here we are going to start the safe software in between like uh, we have to practice with all these three things simultaneously we have to look the manual also we need to look the excel also we need to look the uh, uh, safe also so th these three things will will uh, will will be continue simultaneously hello you all are with me Yes sir. yes sir okay these three things will be what continue simultaneously so you have to means uh, uh, look uh, you need to look at uh, all these three uh, uh, three ways of uh, designing of uh, different elements and uh, uh, along with uh, you have to you have to uh, you have to understand everything you have to validate your results along with manual along with excel along with safe so manually you know very well how to use the excel she excel sheets you know very well that i have explained now but most of you don't know about the software like what does it mean by the safe software how to use this safe software what actually the commands are available in that safe software and okay if you are knowing the commands then how to utilize that commands that you don't know that's why i am going to stop the ongoing discussion i am going to start the safe software so what we will do first we'll understand we are getting the command we are being a familiar with the with this csi safe software then we can continue along with our regular uh, procedure of uh, validating the result and designing of different structural different different types of foundation got it so in between we are going to understand the software so what stage we are going to take we are going to i uh, understand the software are you getting my point we are going to understand the software we are going to make ourselves as a familiar with the software is that all okay rayan yes sir okay so that's why so here some uh, some examples some some things uh, I, i will take here one sample example once one dummy project we will take so don't relate it with the real practice so many of you may uh, will ask about uh, how how we are doing this how we are doing this in real it will not be like this so don't ask me the question by relating it to the real practice it is what it is the dummy project hello yes sir, yes, sir. okay so one dummy project we will start uh, in today's session so uh, meaning of uh, or reason of uh, taking that dummy session is what to Uh, make ourselves as a familiar with the csr software those who are not uh, uh, knowing any thing about uh, uh, the software got it that is what objective of taking uh, the sample project so let me show you i am going to open the software so this csi safe software is famous or commonly known for the design of foundation but it is not only for the design of the foundation but also it is also useful for the design of the slab so for the uh, plate element or for the design of the slab or for the design of uh, foundation slab it is uh, it is most commonly used software csi safe software so 
like uh, if you want to design any big project if any big project if you are dealing and if you want to design the foundation if you want to design the slabs of different floors of that particular uh, building so you can use this csi safe software that is what the application of this software it is the product of csi uh, csi company what is the csi computer structure incorporation so it is the company who has developed so many products and csi it is also the product of csi safe is also the product of csi csi column is there csi bridge is there so so many products are there among those all products a uh, one of the product is what your your csi safe and what is the application of this csi safe for the design of this sub structure especially the foundation and for the design of your slab but in our india the csi safe is well known for the design of the foundation because doing the doing the calc doing the design of a slab manually it is easier than that of using the software that's why most of the consultant they are not preferring the csi safe software for the design of the slab okay but for the design of the foundation it is it is better to go with the csi safe software so when you go to open the software this kind of screen will be there here is the welcome screen just close this so this is what your welcome screen so on the window nothing will be there on the top a one ribbon will be there this we are going to call it as top main menu bar you know very well hello yes sir top yes sir this is called as top main menu bar and can anyone tell me what the what what we are calling for this bottom ribbon quick access bar yes very good it is called as quick access bar those who have attended our uh, etaps training program they know very well uh, like uh, this is the top main menu bar and this is the quick access bar on left hand side this is also quick access bar this is also what quick access bar this is on top this is also quick access bar on top it is what top main menu bar so whatever the options are actually available here in quick access bar it is actually the uh, shortcut commands as we are using uh, uh, like uh, autocad there are so many shortcut keys shortcut commands are available like uh, if you to if you want to draw the line so like l enter is there if you want to draw the circle so uh, c enter is there okay so many shortcuts are there but in in this software we are not uh, uh, following that kind of uh, shortcuts we don't need to remember any shortcut keys because all the shortcut options are uh, are available in front of us and that shortcuts we are calling it as what uh, uh, quick access bar so it is called as quick access bar it is what the uh, top main menu bar so whatever the quick access bar uh, 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 like uh, elements are available here uh, it is what it is the content of your top main menu bar so if you are going to click edit edit if you click over the edit so edit option are already available here if you are clicking over the view so that will be available in quick access bar if you are clicking on define so that will be available in quick access bar so this quick access bar is nothing but the uh, the shortcuts of or or the points of this top main menu bar okay next what you need to do just go to like if you want to open any new uh, uh, project so what you need to do you need to go to file so here in file so many options are available like new model if you want to open any new model you have to click over this if you want to open any existing model uh uh so you need to click over the open if you want to open any existing uh, very basic from new model if you want to open so you can go through this or you can go through this new model from existing file if you want to save any existing model over which you are working so you go to save that file if you want to import any file csi save file if you suppose you are getting from someone others so if you want to open that file so you need to go to this option it will ask where the file is saved you have to click over that and that file will be open okay so this is the option uh, these all options are available here like what if you want to open new model go through this uh, new dialog box will open and uh, with this dialog box you can proceed and you can start your new project close this then go to file if you want to open any existing model so you can uh, it will ask where the file is saved and then you can click over that and the file will be open 
second then if you want to open any file that you have that you have received from someone others okay so like suppose through the mails if you are getting on whatsapp you are getting where from by from uh, any mode if you are getting the file and if you want to open that file so you have to go to this uh, import you have to click over this and go to that particular folder and choose that file and let's say simply open so that file will be open <coughs> then like like this you have to proceed then it is what model explorer it is having some application but this uh, 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 this option is having the application in the modeling modeling case assigning of the load and doing so many things these model explorers are needed to have but it is not uh, every time needed to be present here that's why what we can do we can close it if you want to make it as available here you need to go to option in option the option will be available as model explorer once you click over that model explorer that option will be uh, will be available here okay so if nothing is open if there is no any model is present here if you know any project is av actually available here so this all option will be uh, means uh, it will not be enabled to operate it will not be enabled to operate so what just go to file just go to click over the new model if suppose you want to start any new model so what what uh, step you have to follow just go to file just click over the new model once you click over the new model so very first thing uh, under the title of this new model initialization this one new dialog box will open then it is asking about what design code some basic details it will ask to uh, to start your project like what is the uh, basic design code uh, what is the basic design code for the rcc structure can anyone please is456 as per your so as per your country requirement as per your country code or if you are designing for any other country accordingly you have to choose the uh, code so many codes are available here british code is available here canadian code is available and uh, euro code is there italian code is there okay so so many codes are available and mean uh, for which particular uh, country if you are designing the project accordingly you have to choose the basic code for the design of rcc structure so for the india basic code is what is456 2000 okay so that we have to choose then design preferences so uh, like uh, uh, here also you need to define the basic de definitions like design code is456 2000 the basic design code you have to choose here then uh, partial safety factor you know very well the partial safety factor for for the different materials so if you are using the concrete so partial safety factor for the concrete you know very well it is what 1.5 so that you have to choose as 1.5 if you are using the steel so uh, for the steel the partial safety factor is 1.15 so you have to choose the 1.15 so partial safety factor by default the software is already taking that but if uh, sometimes it is if it is not right you have to change it as per your uh, need as per your requirement so it is what partial safety factor then minimum cover for the slab so uh, it is what it is asking what minimum cover for the slab you would like to take so actually you can define these all things here also or on later stage you can do these all things so i am not going to discuss uh, i am not taking this uh, defining these all things here right now but just uh, look at this later on also we can do the modification so i am not doing anything here let it to be as it is as okay also if you want you can uh, set all everything from here also but uh, this option will also be enable uh, on the later stage when you are proceeding for the design of your foundation so there is also this option will be there you can do modification any time it is not the meaning that once you decide here you can't change it later on later stage it is not the meaning that once you left it once you did the mistake here you need to do, start the project again it is not like that what uh, you can do the modification any time uh, throughout the uh, project at any stage of the project is that all okay hello yes sir okay so at any stage you can do the modification so let it to be as it is whatever but one thing you need to keep in mind uh, try to change it the design code 
if it is possible otherwise if you missed it that is also okay no problem but as you are beginners and uh, means you are practicing with the first time this software so better is to go uh, with uh, with changing of all these things okay once you come to the expert level then it's okay but what you need to do that let's say is 4562000 these things at least you need to define and left it uh, the covers and uh, cover to the beams uh, you can left it okay let's say simply okay then project information you need to put the project information like what is the client name project name company name or model information whatever the basic information you would like to write here according uh, means you can do that otherwise let it to be as it is let's say simply okay now the fourth one is the most important one it is what unit system hello it is asking about what unit Thank system you. so you know very well there are three unit systems metric si us customary yes, and mks system is there so three unit systems are there us default metric default and uh, another one is uh, your mks system but and it is similar to that of your etabs okay so it is depends on your uh, like uh, grading or your architectural plan okay it it's all depends on the units of your architectural plans or your grids so if your grids in meter in mm or in centimeter so you have to go with what metric metric default option but if it is uh, if the architectural plan or if the grid dimensions are in feet and inches then you have to go with the us customary hello yes sir us default option so what uh, here let me know what is the uh, what is the uh, unit meter it is in meter so we we need to go with the metric default so check this metric default accordingly all the uh, units is going to be changed if i am taking what us default so it is what feet and inches now if i am going to change it to metric default so it will be what meter centimeter or in mm okay so let's say simply okay so this basic definitions you have to define here basic data you need to define here design data it is calling by the software not to start your work as you know very well for the modeling of anything in any kind of the project what basic things you need to have can anyone <coughs> hello like uh, suppose in if you are working with any software and uh, if suppose you want to have your uh, uh, model okay and if you want to have the correct model so what basic things uh, is needed to have to start your project hello all dimensions all data required no wrong yes anyone kya kya karna chahiye aur us cheez ko jankari chahiye you all did the uh, it apps course so you should answer topic javed sir kisi project ko start karne ke liye sabse pehle us project ka plan रेफरेंस लाइन it is what the reference line it will give the idea to model your project it give the baseline to to initiate the modeling of your project okay so this grid lines is very important if you if you are if you, if you are going to model your structure without of having the grid lines so there will be the possibility of too many errors there will be the possibility of too much errors in your model if you are not going to proceed with the uh, with having the without of having the grid lines so that's why it's very important to have the grid lines without of having the grid how you can prepare your model and these grid lines are what it is what semi visible sometimes it will be visible and sometimes it is it is needed to keep it as visible sometimes it is needed to keep it as invisible once your model gets ready you don't need to have these grids you can make it as invisible 
but to initiate your modeling to position your column to position your foundation to to start the modeling from the base you need to have your grid lines hello you are with me yes sir okay yes, sir. so that is what the grid lines so to initiate your model the option so many options are available one is what blank one is what your blank if you, if you don't want to have anything so you can go with the blank you can do the uh, you can draw the points manually suppose uh, i have to model the one one foundation here suppose i have to model one foundation here so what i will do uh, i will go with the blank and then i will create one one point here i will create one point here i will create one point here and one point here then i will draw the slide over all these points so what will be there the slab will be modeled but i have, suppose i have to model so many number of footings so many number of footings and also the points also uh, uh, the points are also available in cad so what i can go what i what i can do i can go with the grid lines so what the different grids will be there like this different grids will be there so it's easy for me to model the columns uh, or to model the foundation to model the columns Uh, to any uh, in reference of any particular intersection point of your grids hello yes sir are with me or not yes sir hello yes sir yeah but if any project like suppose you want to model the flat slab of any regular shape so uh, some uh, like templates are actually available here here these all are the what templates flat slab flat slab perimeter with beams so, two way slab base mat means rough foundation combined footing single footing ribbed slab waffle slab so as i as i told you this foundation this csi shape is used for the what design of foundation and design of slab for this two purpose this csi shape software we are using so uh, some uh, some uh, means basic templates are actually available here like if you want to go with uh, some basic templates so you can go you can proceed with this but if any irregular geometry irregular uh, shape is there so you need to go with the grids you need to go with the blanks or you need to model that kind of slab and foundation for uh, for your own requirement okay so here we have to model this uh, this sample project hello so tell me uh, with which option we should proceed either with blank or grids tell me fast grid sir <laughs> once more i would like to clarify the objective of taking this uh, example and this sample project is what we have to learn about the software commands we have to learn like uh, how to model this foundation we have to learn how to uh, model the columns how to define the material properties how to define the section properties so many things we have to learn with this example so that the real project we can deal confidently okay so like uh, uh, keep in mind the objective of taking this uh, uh, sample project okay so just go back to the software again so just click over the grids once you click over the grids so here what uh, tell me what type of uh, grid system it is it is cartesian or cylindrical hello cartesian anyone Cartesian. Cartesian. It is what Cartesian, Ravi Shankar. Yes, sir. It is what Cartesian. How you can decide it as Cartesian because the uh, uh, grids are along x and y. There is no tangential and ra radial. Radial grids are that. It is what it is the cylindrical grids. And if the grids are along x and y, then it's called as Cartesian grid. so i am going to take the cartesian one okay tell me uh, this grid is uniform grid or non uniform grid fast non uniform non uniform how you can decide the non it is non uniform grid uh all dimension not same the distance between the two grid lines is not uniform that's why we are calling it as what non uniform non uniform grids remember this so just go back and uh, yeah in in x direction how many grids are four four four, four. so i will take four for y direction how many grids are four 
six. 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 Okay. So take it as six. Now, grid spacing in x direction. So there is no uniform spacing is there. So let it to be as it is. In y direction, no uniform spacing is there. So yeah, typical spacing. Can anyone tell me what typical spacing is? Six, typical, seven, yeah, typical, six. typical spacing means what? The spacing which is repeating. So in y direction, six, six seven, six, yeah. six, seven. So which one is repeating? Uh, uh, repeating maximum. Six. six. Seven is also repeating six. and six also repeating. But maximum time which number is repeating? Six. Six. So in a y direction it is six. Grid labels. So software by default uh, following the labeling of the grids in x direction. By the alphabets like A, B, C, alphabetical order is there, and in y direction from bottom to top as one, two, three, four like that. Okay, so from uh, bottom to top one, two, three, four uh, in x direction from left to right as A. Remember, but option has given by the software you can change it also. Okay, so we are not going to uh, uh, change these all things. Let it to be as it is. That's a simply okay. This is all done. Now, then, if uh, it is non-uniform and also the spacing is uh, means it is non-uniform because the spacing is not same. So what we need to go to edit grids. Hello. Yes, yes sir. sir. Because the spacing is not uniform. If if the uniform spacing is there in X and Y, you can directly click over the OK, so your grid will be available here. But yeah, our our spacing is not uniform, so we need to go to Edit Grids. Once you click over the Edit Grids, so two option is there: is spacing by ordinates is, uh, and by spacing. So by which option we have to proceed? Spacing. 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 So go to the spacing, and from A to B. In reference of A, let me know. From A to B, in reference of A, how much spacing is there? Five. 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 So it will be five. Same. From uh, B to C, in reference of B. Seven. Seven. C to D, in reference of C. Six. Six. Last will be what? Uh, D to next in reference of D, it is what? Zero. Zero. For y direction, Zero. let us uh, see. Six, seven, six, six, seven, six, six, seven, six, seven. Okay. Last will be zero, and uh, bubble sizes you can change it as per your need. Okay. And story hide below. It is what asking is very important. Okay, let it to be as it is. Later on, I will I will change it. Okay, uh, remember model datum. Hello, you all are with me? Yes, sir. It is suppose yes, this suppose we are talking about this level. So it's the model datum reference level. Model datum is what dif your difference level, reference level. So it, it will be what I am going to call it as zero model datum. Story height above. So above to that, any story if you want to take, so you can take that story. Below to that, if you want to take any story, so story height below. So that you can put here below the ground. Uh, or suppose you want to model the foundation here. So you might you might be thinking about uh, you may think about this. Like suppose uh, if you are taking the ground at this level, so this should be there as three. Hello. Yes, sir. Sorry, hide below. Am I right or wrong? Right. Sir. Okay, but what uh, I will let you know right now. Let it to be. Okay, what to do with this? Uh, I will let you know. Okay, forget this. Just look at this and let's say simply okay. Once you click over the okay, so your grid will be now available. Hello. Is that all okay? Yes. Sir. This is what your grid lines. This is what your grid lines. This is what model explorer. It is having some application, but not needed to discuss here. Just close it. If you want to keep it to be available here, so go to option. In option here, the option is there model explorer. Show model explorer. Once you click over that, that will be again available here. If you are close it, 
again go to option model explorer it will be available here so now close it okay so the model uh, grids are there take the 3d view so that, see here the two levels are actually available hello yes sir yes sir what two levels are there this is the first and this is your bottom one but actually i don't need to have these two levels i need to have the uh, grids at the plane level because i need i don't need to have it i don't need to have it so go to define uh, sorry go to editor go to edit grid data and go to modify grid system then here go to modify and show system once you click over that i need to make it as what hello zero zero, zero. change it to zero let's say simply okay and then say okay is that all clear yes sir hello yes sir it's very simple right now next just come come back and this is the plan view now come uh, come up here on left uh, see uh, edit option is there if you want to do any edit uh, editing of any existing model any existing slab any any kind of uh, modification if you want to do uh, or edit, edit edit work you want to do in your existing model you need to go to this edit option if you want to do uh, if you want to view by your requirement anything so you need to go to suppose you want to use, uh, view the plan view elevation view section view whatever if you want to see you need to go to view you need, if you want to define something like material properties uh, and slab properties beam properties uh, column properties section properties and uh, soil subgrade properties anything if you want to define load combination load patterns load cases everything you can define through this define option hello you all are with me yes sir clear yes. now then uh, draw to draw anything like beam column slab uh, for anything if you want to design uh, like draw you can you need to go to draw selection deselection assign option is there design is there and detailing is there every option is is available in top main menu bar and the shortcuts are available in quick access bar getting hello yes sir okay yes, now sir. just read it uh, read it and we have to model it we have to model it so material to be used for this sample project is what fe500 and m20 hello what grade of uh, materials we have to use hello m20 m20 yeah, grade of concrete and fe500 grade of grade of steel you have to use so just go back and go to define hello yes sir okay uh, in in over this grid if suppose you want to like uh, go to option architecture layer okay 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 go to edit go to edit grid data modify i would like to have some dark color so change it to some dark let's say simply okay now it's okay hello Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Now, sir. go to edit. Go to edit grid data. Go to edit modify. Go to modify and change it to some dark color. Let's say simply okay, okay. This is done. Okay. So it is easy to view. Next, what we need to do? We need to define these material properties. So how you can decide? Uh, define the material properties. You need to go to define. Go to material properties. Very first thing. some by default materials are actually available here hello if suppose you want to add a new material property just click over the add a new material property so you can define the material properties and that material property will be added here for the concrete for the steel whatever if you want to define or if you want to do the uh, means if you want to edit any existing property so you can go to click over that just go to modify and show property hello so this this yes, material is for what hello it is for concrete concrete so what i am going to okay close it i am i just want to define the new material property just go to add a new material property and just put here as m20 hello is that all okay yes sir m20 
देन मटेरियल टाइप विल बी वॉट कॉन्क्रीट देन वेट पर यूनिट वैल्यूम वट इज द डेंसिटी ऑफ योर कॉन्क्रीट रिनफोर्स कॉन्क्रीट कैन टेल मी ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव वट इज द फॉर्मुला टू कैलकुलेट द मॉडल ऑफ लासिटी ऑफ योर कॉन्क्रीट टेल मी फास्ट फाइव हंड्रेड रूट हंड्रेड सॉरी रूट ऑफ एफ सी के एफ सी के इट इज वॉट द प्रॉपर्टी okay uh, modulus of elasticity of your concrete so suppose m20 is there so what is tell me what is the answer like 5000 supriya are there 20 give me answer supriya yes salman by 2 2 2 2 2 सिंपली ओके सो वन मटेरियल विल बी एडेड हियर हेलो सर कॉफिशियंट ऑफ थर्मल एक्सपेंशन सॉरी कॉफिशियंट ऑफ थर्मल एक्सपेंशन है ना इट इज व्हाट स्टैंडर्ड वी आर कंसीडरिंग फॉर योर कंक्रीट हेलो तो इसमें चेंज करने की जरूरत नहीं रहती है नहीं नहीं कोई चेंज हम लोग करने की जरूरत नहीं है ओके सर एक्चुअली दिस सर फार्मूला क्या होता है टेस्टिंग हेलो चंद्रदेव it is all our laboratory testing if if you need to have actual for your actual value for your concrete so you need to do the laboratory testing okay yes sir iska koi yeah. formula nahi hota hai kya sir formula nahi wahi keh raha hu like shear modulus ka aapka formula hai uske according poisson's ratio ye standard value hai ye ho gaya aapko yeah. and ye coefficient thermal expansion you need to do the laboratory testing okay to matlab ये टैप्स के मतलब भरोसे छोड़ देंगे हां उसको हम लोग उसके ही अकॉर्डिंगली लेना है ठीक ओके ओके यस लेट्स से सिंपली ओके नाउ से ऐड न्यू मटेरियल प्रॉपर्टी नाउ एट दिस टाइम आई नीड टू डिफाइन द रिबार ग्रेड सो व्हाट रिबार ग्रेड वी हैव टू टेक हेलो 500 500 सो जस्ट गो बैक एंड पुट एफ ई 500 and at this time what it will be steel or rebar tell me fast rebar check this rebar rebar and what is the density of your steel can anyone fast ajina 78 7850 okay so just go back and uh, you go to your software and 78 850 7850 and but in kilonewton per meter cube how much it is 78.5 78.5 right center now modulus of uh, modulus of elasticity of re, uh, rebar 20 to 10 raised to 5 now yes. it is fe4 fe500 so 500 and ultimate strength we also going to take uh, as 500 okay let's say simply okay so grade of concrete we have defined plus grade of steel we also have defined everything is now available here so two material properties we have, here we have defined as per our need as per our requirement let's say simply okay hello you all are with me you all are with me or not yes sir yes sir yes sir okay yes sir what next look at your question yeah depth of the foundation is 2.9 meter. So, what is the use of this 2.9 meter? I will let you know later. Okay, let it to be as it is. Now, size of footing. What size of footings are there? Hello. 2 meter into 3 meter. 2 meter by 3 meter. The size of your F1 footing. So, there are two types of footing has given in this project. Like F1, uh, size of footing is what 2 by 3 or 3 by 2, whatever you would like to call. Okay, you can say. 
another footing size is 3 by 3 for that square column is and for uh, rectangular footing rectangular column is so a rectangular footing is 2 by 3 meter and size of the column is 230 by 600 mm and second footing is 3 by 3 where size of your column is 450 by 450 so the next thing that we are, uh, that we are having uh, size of footing so two types of footings are there one is a square footing one is your rectangular footing and accordingly the rectangular column is there that uh, means re respective rectangular column is there uh, for the for the respective rectangular footing and for uh, rectangular column respective recta uh, for square column respective rec square footing is there okay so two types of footing and two types of columns are and uh, thing is what actually like uh, here one more thing we should have uh, that should be present like uh, what is the depth of the f1 footing so let's say uh, respective uh, like uh, I would like to write here depth depth of putting f1 that is what actually 500 mm and putting true as 400 mm you all are with me hello yes sir so another uh, data that we are having the depth of the footing so the f1 footing is having the depth though how much 500 and f2 is having the depth of uh, 400 so let's go back to your safe and we need to define the section of your foundation slab so if you want to define the section of your foundation slab so you need to go to define just click over the define so first material you need to define then slab property you need to define so just go to uh, slab property once you click over the slab property then click over add a new property once you click over the add new property so here you need to write the name of the slab so as the first footing is there what f1 I will, whatever you want to write the name you can put here so i am going to write it as as what f1 footing first and what is the size of the footing hello can you tell me three hello by three meter. Two, sorry two by three two by three so just write it as two by so two by 2 by 3 and M20 grid of concrete so here slab material so slab material will be what don't do the mistake here you have to choose the grid of uh, concrete here what grid you would like to take for this particular footing like suppose if you are dealing any project where where there are too many number of uh, uh, like uh, concrete grades are suppose if you are dealing very big project and there is for that uh, particular big project uh, the grades of the concrete for the foundation is different like for the one project you have to use m20 for the, for the same project in the same project you also have to use m25 also you have to use m30 so for any particular footing what grade of concrete you would like to choose that you have to select from from this drop down list suppose here what grade of concrete we have to choose so m20 and only the one, m20 is there so no issue you can go with the m20 then display color it is what it is the color of uh, your this foundation so what color you would like to have it is having the importance it is having very important uh, means uh, it is playing an important role to like uh, to deal with the foundation design in the CSI safe uh, easily to avoid the confusion it is not just for the entertainment it is what it is having its application so what I would like to take it as uh, F1 as of uh, let's see here what is the color okay let's a green one it's your choice it is not compulsory but uh, i'm going to take the green one let's a simply okay and the slab uh, either uh, slab you can take or the footing both both the playing the same role no difference will be there okay slab and uh, your mat 
your footing this all plays almost the same role so no change will be there you can take anything like slab you can take you mat you can take footing you can take so i'm going to take the footing so footing what is the depth of, of uh, this foundation will be hello for the f1 footing hello 600. sorry 600 500 sorry 500 depth of this footing so let it to be 500 let's say simply okay it will be what simply okay so first footing we have defined as a 2 by 3 meter m20 grid of concrete likewise just say add new property otherwise you can what you can do if you want to make your work more easy so just click over this and just say add add copy of property so what it will do by the soft, uh, software what will do it will take the copy of uh, this section just say add copy of property so only the name will be different otherwise rest of all the definition will be as it is as similar to that of uh, your first uh, section but it's okay i am going to define new so just click or add new property and write as f2 hello what is the size of your f2 hello 3 by 3 3 by 3 so go back and put it as 3 by 3 m 20 grid of concrete change it to what if you find it hello Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have you found it? M20. Don't do the mistake. Here it is asking slab material means slab material will be what? Yeah, steel or rebar will be there, but it will be minor. Inside of this section, overall your section will be of what? Either of concrete or either of steel. Concrete. Concrete. Mm -hmm. That's why don't do the mistake. Here always you have to choose your, uh, your concrete. Okay. So take the concrete as M20. And the color, uh, I will have to take what color is there, uh, like uh, this uh, color is there. Okay, I'm going to take this one, some dark value. I'm going to take, let's say, simply okay, orange color is there. And I'm going to take the footing and depth has given what, what depth is there. Uh, yeah, depth is 400. Take it as 400. Okay, it is not, uh, means we are not going to design, as I told you. Here we have to understand the modeling. Here we have to understand the commands of the software. Okay, that's why everything has given. But if, if real project if you are going to deal, so nothing will be given. Everything you have to decide on your own. Being as a structural engineer, you have to decide everything. Okay, but here it is what the dummy project that uh, we have to like uh, make it to be present in the software. As, as, as similar to that of your academic question, it is what just we have to execute what actually has given. Nothing else. You don't need to uh, like utilize your uh, your concept you don't need to utilize your mind okay to do anything whatever is given in your question accordingly you have to do the modeling in the software and and that's it okay so the footing is 400 let's say simply okay so in this way both these sections of your footing or both the uh, uh, like footing sizes we have defined in the slab property hello is that all okay yes sir you all are with me Yes, sir. Okay, next. What another thing is needed to have in your definition? You have defined the material properties, you have defined the section properties of the foundation. Okay, what next? You need to define what? Column. Column property, column section property. So just go back to the software again and go to define and uh, go to column property. See, uh, material is there, slab is there, beam is there, reinforcing bar sizes is there. A pre stress and post tensioning type of uh, foundations uh, means uh, uh, any slab and foundation you are designing. So, tendon, tendon will be there, wall co property, uh, column property, wall property. Okay, so we need to define the wall pro column property. Ch click over that. Add a new property. Column will be what? Like you have to write what is the shortcut for the column? Tell me fast. Hello. CM. CM, very good. All the tabs CM. run CM. Okay. What is the section size of your column? 230 by 600. 230 by 600. Grade of concrete will be what? M20. What I have to choose here? Right? No, M20. No. Here we have to choose the concrete. Very good. 20. Now, uh, it is what? Rectangular one. 
या कलर ओके लाइक रिस्पेक्टिव कलर वी विल टेक लेट इट टू बी ग्रीन वन रिस्पेक्टिव कलर एज सिमिलर दैट ऑफ यूर फूटिंग ओके ओके लेट्स एनी अदर कलर योर चॉइस ब्लू कलर आई एम गोइंग टेक एनी वन यू कैन टेक ओके लाइक विथ इज वॉट विथ एज टू थर्टी एंड डेप्थ वी शुड टेक वॉट हेलो फाइव हंड्रेड सॉरी फाइव हंड्रेड वेयर इट इज फाइव हंड्रेड सिक्स हंड्रेड सिक्स हंड्रेड सिक्स हंड्रेड या विल बी सिक्स हंड्रेड लेट्स से सिंपली ओके वंस यू क्लिक ओवर ऑफ द ओके ऐड अ न्यू प्रॉपर्टी सॉरी ऐड 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 अ न्यू प्रॉपर्टी एंड अगेन सीएम सीएम टू सॉरी फोर फिफ्टी बाय फोर फिफ्टी बाय फोर फिफ्टी एम ट्वेंटी ग्रेड ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट चेंज इट टू वॉट एम ट्वेंटी एंड लाइक हियर यू हैव टू राइट एज फोर फिफ्टी स्क्वायर सेक्शन साइज ऑफ योर कॉलम इज सो गो चेंज इट टू वॉट फोर फिफ्टी लेट से सिंपली एंड चेंज द कलर टू इन डार्क कलर लेट से दिस वैल्यू एंड लेट से सिंपली ओके लेट से सिंपली ओके सो टू सेक्शन ऑफ योर कॉलम इज ऑल्सो एडेड हियर हेलो लेट्स से सिंपली ओके लेट मी नो एन इन इज देर एनी थिंग एनी न्यू थिंग वी हैव टू एड हियर इट्स ऑल डन हेलो मटेरियल प्रॉपर्टी सॉरी मटेरियल प्रॉपर्टी मटेरियल प्रॉपर्टी ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिफाइन व्हाट यू आर डूइंग यू सेड यू सेड अजीनाथ हेलो विदाउट ऑफ डिफाइनिंग द मटेरियल प्रॉपर्टी हाउ यू कैन डिफाइन द सेक्शन प्रॉपर्टीज अजीनाथ मेन थिंग इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट हाउ टू मॉडल द फाउंडेशन स्लैब ओके सो वेरी बेस्ट इज वॉट बिफोर ऑफ स्टार्टिंग यूर मॉडलिंग वर्क just right click on your uh, on the window right click on your window and just go to snap option and make sure that grid intersection point should be enable or should be checked means why it is needed to check this because if you are taking your cursor cancel this taking your cursor so are you getting this intersection point mark hello yes sir yes sir sometimes students are confused uh, they are not checking their snap option like whether this is checked or not so they are not getting that intersection of these uh, two grids so i am going to uncheck this and let's say okay let's see i am trying to find am i able, uh, just tell me am i able able to get it no 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 so right click go to snap and check this say uh, okay right click again go to snap make sure that line ends and midpoint option should be checked so okay so that the midpoint of the grid you will get hello that will be easy to uh, model very very clearly without of any error then right click again go to snap parallel check this option perpendicular position this option so some basic options uh, which are essential for effective modeling without of error it is needed to check so let us to be okay is that all okay hello yes sir will you remember this or not Yes, what you need to do right click on snap option right click on your window so this will be there go to snap option in snap option what grids line and mid points points will be by default will be there and perpendicular projection parallel if you are not checking parallel it will be okay but this things is okay if you are checking parallel that is good okay but if it is needed then you can check otherwise let it to be as it is let's say simply okay hello You are with me or not? Yes, sir. Very good. Now, yeah. So, how to model the yes, grid? Uh, sorry, model the uh, foundation slab. Suppose I have to model my foundation slab somewhere here, at this. So what? Suppose I need to model the point. So go to draw. Go to draw. Go to draw point and click here. At zero zero, no offset point is there. So my my uh, point is not available here no i want to model my slab here 
foundation slab of uh, suppose any 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 size any standard size suppose i have to model like uh, 2 by 2 you all are with me 2 by 2 size of your uh, 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 like uh, slab i have to model 2 by 2 so what the first option for the modeling of the slab is this the first option of any irregular shape of the slab you can model with this option but to practice with this option you need to have the reference line hello you have to need you need to have the reference points hello yes sir, yes, sir. again go to draw go to draw yes, point sir. suppose i have to model the foundation here so what i i would like to take this now this option is straight line option so many points are option available are here so i'm going to take straight option this is the first point the second point the third point fourth point fifth point and coming back to this level so my foundation either you can call it as slab or foundation slab whatever you all are with me or not yes sir yes sir you can yes, model sir. like this any irregular shape of there is no any limit any irregular shape of slab you can model here slab floor slab or foundation slab floor slab or foundation slab doesn't matter both the things are uh, means uh, in respect of modeling are same okay so this is what any shape of the slab you can model close this but no suppose i need to uh, i need to model the slab from this point to this point so what i i need to go with this option two point option what we are calling it as two point option it is what multiple point option for any irregular shape it is what two point option so i am going to take this two point option from this point to uh, click on this point first point drag cross to the next point and then left it hello you all are with me yes sir yes sir yes sir this is the first point drag it to cross next point left it this is the first point drag it to cross next point your foundation will be modeled click on first point drag it to next point this will be here so slab like this you can model slab like this you can model now suppose uh, you want to model quickly you want to model the things quickly so how you can model it quick draw okay so quick draw option is there hello check this option quick draw option so once you click over the quick draw option so either you can directly dragging from left to right so your uh, your uh, option here it is checked what grids so if i'm dragging from left to right so my operation is what tracing the outer grid lines which is going to be enclosed enclosed by means sorry enclosed outer grid lines inside of this box so left it anywhere so what the slab will be modeled because enclosed grid line is what uh, the by my operation it is tracing this enclosed grid line that's why the software has modeled the slab here hello getting or not yes sir and do drag it from left to right see it is tracing what inner side so left it but let me know if i'm dragging like this so what the software will will do see i'm i'm going to left it so outer grids it is tracing what this enclosed outer grid am i right or wrong so it is modeling one element sorry it is modeling it entirely sorry sorry it is tracing all grids it is modeling it separately okay good wherever it is having the grids so accordingly it is going to model so yeah each individual elements it is modeling good thing hello yes, clear sir. or not yes sir yes sir yes hello okay now again take the quick draw option now here i am going to change it from grids to what points hello take this point not drag from left to right and close it no points are available here hello is there any point no sir. 
no point is available so i'm going to what i'm going to draw go to draw point take the one point here 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 now what software will do let, let let's check take this option point drag it from left to right and left it not doing anything so take the line drag it from left to right it is again not doing anything and deform shape i think we need to have hello this is a quick so it is working with only what a uh, grids so take the grids okay line line is considering what uh, your frame elements line it is considering what your frame elements suppose uh, suppose i am having the I, I, I am going to model the beam from this point to this from this to this so it is tracing your beam you know for the for on the outer side on the edges of your uh, slab the beam will be there so what software will do suppose i am going to take the quick draw model modeling of this slab okay so what it will do if i am taking the line line option if i am taking and dragging from left to right so what it is doing hello understood hello yes sir yes sir so that is the thing okay forget that actually what we need to understand only okay so this is the quick draw so very first multiple point option of for any irregular shape two point option for standard sections uh, in plan dimension in plan shape like rectangular square for quick draw option and for any standard size very precise in the standard size uh, if you want draw in reference of any fixed point this is the most important for the modeling of foundation this is the fourth one hello yes sir tell me what you need to do for the modeling of the slab like suppose you need to model the slab in between of this area or about this center tell me what you need to do center so in between about this center okay rayan is that okay yes sir okay you need to draw about this center so basically what uh, like we need to proceed with this fourth option and another thing we will have what some standard section size uh, uh, in in plan dimension of the footing so for with that we need to proceed with this third or fourth option just click over that once you click over that a new dialog box will open so try to understand what actually the present in this new dialog box so first the slab okay so it is the like solid slab we need to have shape of the slab it will be what rectangular or circular so rectangular it will be rectangular or square whatever it will be this all depends on our definition of this uh, dimension by the dimension so check it to be what rectangular but if you want to model the circular you can take the circular one so i am going to take it as rectangular property so i would like to model first <clears throat> f1 slab 2 by 3 check this option what is the size in x direction hello two meter in x direction all the footing orientation along the y direction means along x is 2 and along y is 3 hello three sir tell me first why is 2 why is 3 why 3 x is what 2 x is 2 very good so i need to put here x as 2 y is 3 clear yes sir okay yes sir clear slab property you need to choose here now being this either you can keep it as it is or you can close it doesn't matter now find out the points where you have to put it hello start from here so at the intersection of a and 1 footing is there what hello you all are with me yes sir yes sir i am going to click here at this center click here is that all okay yes sir in this way you have to model now next in the same line at the end 
the same footing is there click here is it all okay yes sir next here this column this 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 you have to click here you have to click here this footing next to that no no now along the fifth grid uh, and at the intersection of b and c along the fifth grid at the intersection of b and c we need to have the uh, footing click here unless and until you are not getting this uh, red sign or or this this uh, writing uh, text like grid point c and 5 don't click over that hello yes sir okay now click here this is done now in the last on the top it is available here on the last it is available here is that all clear yes sir is there any doubt and question no no very good next uh like uh, go back to your question and what other section sizes are 3 meter by 3 meter 3 by 3 okay so yeah all for all the remaining points it is 3 by 3 so smartly we can do that so again take again click over this and change it uh, first change this uh, uh, your property what it will be 3 by 2 3. 3 by 3 what is the size 3 by 3 by 3, 3. now here 3 by 3 here 3 by 3 here 3 by 3 here it will be 3 by 3 is that all okay hello yes sir yes sir very good now clear close this and uh, just click over this so that command will be deactive once you click over this select object so the command will be deactive now you are free to do anything you are free to do anything so now in this way you are uh, successfully modeled your foundation you are successfully modeled your foundation take the 3d view hello is it visible yes sir so this is what if you want to see the 3d view so just go to 3d view so it will be 3d view. if you click over the x y the plan view and we have not taken different levels that's why elevation option will not be there if i am clicking here yeah actually uh, over the grids are there so i am taking any grid like uh, along the grid first say okay anything is there no hello no sir nothing is there okay because no there is there are no different levels we have taken only the foundation level or base level that's why but if you if you are if you are taken different levels so that will be available here so go to x y so we are having this next that we need to do is what we need to model the column so uh, is that all clear like how to model the slab very simple sir thickness not available sir sorry thickness of the footing not seen sir in 3d i will let you know wait sir, 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 sir is your option se hum strip footing bhi kar sakte hai sir is your option se kya kar sakte ho strip footing bhi dal sakte hai sir sab sab aayega sab aayega bhi sohel isme pooch raha tha sir ek hi bar lene se ho jayega aisa ha aa jayega theek hai bhai bas sari cheeze aayegi sab cheeze aayegi okay wait keep patience sri nawaz sir sir Keep patience. Everything will come. Wait. Everything, everything will will cover. Give me time. Okay. Now, see. After having this, uh, like at the three D view, you can see. I just want to exp uh, uh, explain and uh, introduce the software, not the concept. Right now, I try to explain the co uh, uh, like commands and operation with the software. I told you the objective of taking this pra uh, this project, this sample and dummy project. i want to explain the software not the concept okay so this is what 3d view this is what your uh, x y plane in plan view this is all done now next is what either you can take the 3d view also very simple you can take the x plan view this is a very simple now and also you you come to know like uh, uh, like uh, how to model the uh, any shape of the slab how you can model standard shape of the slab 
quick draw a uh, modeling of the slab uh, and the modeling of the foundation especially okay so this all things is now over next thing is what we need to model your column we need to model what your column so tell me your column will be above to the foundation or below to the foundation tell me Above. Your column will be above to the foundation above. slab or below to the foundation slab. What it will be? Above. Above. And we are considering the height of the foundation up to the ground level, right or wrong? Yes, Hello. Sir. Yes. Sir. Okay. So the height of the foundation, or another way we can say the depth of the foundation below the ground level. It is what actually that we have given, and that we are going to consider as a height of your column. So either you can call it as depth of the foundation, or you can call it as height of the foundation. What you would like, whatever you would like to call, you can say your choice. So come here. See what is the depth of the footing? Sorry, depth of foundation. Two point nine. Two point nine. So just go back to your. Remember this, nine. and I am going to consider this depth of foundation as a height of column above to foundation surface. So go back to your types. Very very interesting to model the foundation. Very interesting. Clear this all. Come back. Now I have to model the column. So it is the modeling of the beam. A line element and line element option is there. It is similar to that of your types. Nothing different. Nothing is different. Everything is similar to your uh, found uh, like uh, types software. So those are our previous students. So the, it should not be very. Uh, means it is very easy. It should be very easy for all of them. Nothing is new for them. Okay. So here, what frame element? Your your uh, uh, foundation or CSI shape is also consisting of two types of element: frame element and another one is what? Shell element. Shell element. So like slab, foundation, everything is comes under what shell element? Beams, columns uh, are comes under your frame and line element. Remember this. Don't do the mistake. So I am going to take the frame. Close this. So right now it is not needed to model the beams. That's why I am not take, uh, taking to discussion. So left it. I will cover it later. Okay. But come to the column. Is it visible? Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. Just click over this column. Once you click over this column, a very uh, like uh, uh, this dialog box will open, which will have so many things. Hello. You are with me. Yes. Sir. Okay. Now, try to understand what actually given in this uh, uh, dialog box. Type of the object. It is column. Okay. Very good. Property below. Property above. Height below. Height above. These four things are very important to understand. Suppose. Suppose. Suppose your footing is there, one footing is there like this, and another pile cap is there. Those who are knowing something about pile cap, so they can understand very well. Suppose, uh, like I have to model the column above the model the column for the footing, normal footing, normal box, isolated, rough, combined footing. So for that column will be above or lower? Tell me. Above. 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 above so for that when you are going to model the footing and if you want to model your column here like this shri nawaz sir are you there sir yes, sir yeah suppose if you want to model the column here so what property below should be none and property above whatever you column you want that property you have to choose suppose i have to model the column above for this particular footing as to the by 600 So I need to check this one. I have, suppose I want to have the column property as to the four fifty by four fifty. So take this four fifty five fifty. But it should be under above. By mistake, if you are making it as none, and if you are making this as uh, below as to the number six hundred, so column is going to be model above or below. Tell me fast. Below, sir. Below. So that kind of mistake beginners are doing. Okay, that can be corrected. No problem. But that should be uh, we need to understand. So here should be what above. 
टू थर्टी बाय सिक्स हंड्रेड नाउ हाइट बेलो इफ सपोज यू वॉन्ट टू मॉडल दी हाइट मॉडल दी कॉलम बेलो सो यू नीड टू पुट द बेलो हाइट अप टू वॉट डेप तो यू वॉन्ट टू हैव योर कॉलम दैट यू नीड टू पुट अदरवाइज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव अब सो यू नीड टू पुट दी हाइट अब गेटिंग और नॉट हेलो वॉट हाइट अब यू नीड टू हैव टू पॉइंट नाइन राइट और रॉन्ग हेलो दिस इज डन ओके ना ऑफ सेट सपोज लाइक सपोज द फूटिंग इज देयर लाइक दिस एंड दिस इज माई सेंटर ऑफ द फूटिंग इज माई सेंटर सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू मॉडल माई फूटिंग सॉरी आई वॉन्ट टू मॉडल माई कॉलम एट अ ऑफ सेट डिस्टेंस ऑफ टू मीटर फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ द फूटिंग सो वॉट आई नीड टू पुट दिस टू मीटर ओके लेट मी शो यू टेक दी ओके क्लोज इट टेक दी फूटिंग एनी फूटिंग okay and uh, this is my center of the footing now i have to model the footing uh, column here on top i have to model the column here on top okay so take the column first top i would like to model at top uh, above 2.9 section size 2 the dy 600 okay and at the center i would like to have so take it at what center so very small it is actually uh -huh. i need to okay small small section size of the footing i need to take now is it visible hello yes sir take yes, the sir. column now i am going to take okay 450 by 450 take at the center click over that hello is it visible yes sir so the column has been model and the height above and section above both the things should be should be correct take the 3d view take it are you getting hello yes sir in this yes, way sir. you can model it in this way you can model it and suppose okay wait see is it right or wrong thanks sir i will right, you know sir. how to check it how to see extruded view later but just try to understand is it right or wrong like suppose i am doing the mistake and right, do this right, right. and take the 3d view and just say extrude view come down and uh, uh, take the column but by mistake what i am doing i am making as 2.9 below hello 2.9 below and it is uh, it is zero my intention to model above but by mistake what where i have uh, given the value below 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 okay see okay i am going to click here look at this what what actually happening what should be what should happen here can you can you guess what will happen ye sir top se below tak niche tak chala jayega niche tak chala jayega chaliye dekhte hain ये तो ड्रॉ ही नहीं हो रहे मॉडल ही नहीं हो रहे क्यों ये तो मैं यहाँ क्लिक कर रहा हूँ लेकिन नहीं हो रहा है क्या प्रॉब्लम है प्रॉपर्टी नहीं है असाइन है कॉलम का क्या अश्विन आवाज सर बताइए नहीं नहीं जरूरत है उसका पहले तो मैंने ड्रॉ किया ही ना कोई जरूरत सर प्रॉपर्टी बिलो नॉन है वेरी गुड यहाँ पे प्रॉपर्टी बिलो आपका नन है बिलो आपने वैल्यू तो पुट कर दिया यहाँ पर नन है इससे नहीं ड्रॉ हो रहा है ये तो रॉन्ग है अब तो आपको करना है लेकिन आपने यहाँ पे वैल्यू पुट नहीं किया तो इसको तो नन कर सकते हो आप पहले इसको करेक्ट करिए बिलो क्या होना चाहिए टू थर्टी बाई सिक्स हंड्रेड अगर ओके फोर फिफ्टी बाई फोर फिफ्टी आप बिलो प्रॉपर्टी भी होना चाहिए बिलो डायमेंशन भी होना डेप्थ भी होना चाहिए देन इफ आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक then it will be modeled now at this time it will be downward side hello right shinawas sir 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 okay so this is the thing for modeling of the column will you remember this or not and do yes, this sir. okay again go back to your column now i am going to correct it just for your understanding i am taking this uh, uh, thing uh, above 2.9 and below should be 0 Above property should be let's say to the divide to four fifty by four fifty and below should be none. But 
suppose my column is not at the center my column is uh, some some uh, somewhere away from uh, this center at a distance of 1 meter so what offset distance in x direction i need to put as what 1 one. One. see i am going to click here so my modeling will not be done here my modeling will be done at a offset distance of 1 meter is it visible hello yes sir clear yes sir this is the thing undo this suppose my uh, column is at offset distance of like a uh, uh, 0.5 meter above not in x direction say zero uh, in above so let it to be what 0.5 meter just click on the center so it is going to be model at uh, at offset distance of 0.5 meter understood or not akle sir yes sir yes, understood very good next angle of rotation i think i don't need to explain you all know very well those who are our previous batch students it are students yes, tofik hello yes okay this uh, this for you try to understand what does my the angle of rotation suppose i am taking what 230 by 600 and do this 230 by 600 suppose i am going to model okay offset distance is not there make it as zero i want to model at the center so take it zero now suppose by mistake my orientation is not like this my orientation is vertical hello yes sir so suppose if you want to model it uh, correct as vertical so what undo this undo this take the column and change it to what 90 degree 90 degree and then click over this so it will be model vertical topic is that all okay yes sir so this is the thing very important to understand very interesting and important okay so we are, we have to model so i hope that you all understood how to model the footing slab and how to model the column here we are going to uh, restrict our uh, limit our discussion for the foundation design not for the slab hello Yes sir. Sir, hmm? rectangular footing का भी orientation change कर सकते हैं ना? कर सकते हो? उसका जरा एक बार दिखा देते तो बढ़िया रहता। Like oh, go to it. Uh, assign slab local axis change to ninety degree. नो आई थिंक इसका इंटरनल एक्सिस आप इसका ओरिएंटेशन चेंज करने के लिए कह रहे हो जी जी अगर जैसे टू बाई थ्री का है और मैंने गलती से ले लिया है एक्स में टू और वाई में थ्री और हमें अपोजिट करना नाइन्टी डिग्री में तो कर सकते हैं क्या ऐसा है मेरा रुक जाइए आई थिंक No, I think you need to modify it. Local axis is a project. नहीं होगा. Slab local axis. I am trying. That's a zero. Its internal axis is going to be changed. Hello. Yeah, internal axis consideration जो है ना local axis is a different thing. और जो orientation आप change करने के लिए कह रहे हो वो different thing है. Hello. बात समझ में आ रही है चंद्र जब आपको सर वो स्लैब को अगर सिलेक्ट करके और लोकल एक्सेस चेंज करेंगे तो होगा क्या गुड असाइन स्नैप को नहीं नहीं स्लैब को सिलेक्ट करने के बाद अगर लोकल एक्सेस चेंज करेंगे तो उसका चेंज होगा क्या मैं स्लैब ही को सिलेक्ट कर रहा हूँ सी आई एम सिलेक्टिंग द स्लैब देन गो टू असाइन गो टू स्लैब देन गो टू लोकल एक्सिस नो चेंज विल बी देयर It is actually applicable for the internal axis consideration. Okay. Okay. So, फिर इस केस में क्या करना चाहिए सर? आपको रीचेंज करना, रीशेप करना पड़ेगा. अच्छा अच्छा. Okay. Now same. Okay. So close. Select this all. Say delete. So we have completed like uh, modeling of the foundation, and now we have to model the uh, uh, column. Hello. So how to model the column? Take the uh, uh, go to column, 
go to column okay before of that i would like to show you how to uh, okay see, see okay first first we will complete the modeling of the column okay take this column and uh, section size for the square footing what is the section size of the column for square footing fast 450 by 450 is the height of footing uh, height of column above the footing 2.9 okay meter. and uh, doesn't matter because uh, a square column is there so it, it is a zero it is 90 doesn't matter so I'm going to click here zoom it then click here then click here make sure that whether it is modding above or not yeah it is modding above good again come back to XY click here click here click here click here you can directly drag it left to right so it is tracing the point and will automatically model the column hello yes, yes sir yeah so drag it Taufik are you getting yes sir yeah if you are dragging by clicking on this first point being pre clicked uh, right button has pressed uh, drag it being being this inter being this uh, intersecting point to be covered and inside of this box and left it here so it will model the column otherwise what basic way you can proceed with which uh, you can click at the center so the column will be model click at the center column will be model like this now here the column will be model column at the center column here the column is that all okay hello yes sir take the 3d view yes, so you will have the column at all these uh, over all these footings and it is above come back to xy and now uh, for all the rectangular footing what is the section size of your column 230 by 600 check this option and now click here once you click here so it is vertical yeah it is okay then click here it is okay click here click here click here now here now here and now finally you have to click here is that all okay hello yes sir yes sir now okay. take the 3d view so now finally we are having the foundation uh, it's completed along with it's the foundation slab and uh, your column is that all okay hello yes sir yes sir. Okay. yes sir now what are the different view options this is what we have completed the definition option definition step how to define the material properties how to define the section properties for your column b column and uh, your footing slab okay what is the how to how to change how to change the colors of the different sections like slab and column then uh, we have learned how to model the foundation slab. Then we learned how to model the uh, uh, column for the foundation. That 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 things we have covered. Now I would like to uh, share how to see how to uh, how you can have different views of your model foundation. So just uh, when you click over this, so it's a plan view. This is what your plan view if you are clicking on the 3d so it is what 3d view now suppose if you want to have more realistic view hello yes sir if you want to have a uh, more realistic view so how you can how how you can see that so you need to go to uh, set display option is it visible once yes, you click on this set display option here the option is there exclude view hello Yes, sir. Once yes, you sir. click over this exclude view, let's say simply OK. So you will have this excluded view. Sri Navasan. Hello. Is it visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is what? More realistic view. It is actually yes, what? Sir. More realistic view. Come back to plan. This is the plan view. If you are clicking on undeformed shape, so this this action will be resolved and uh, normal view will be there but again if you if you like to have like uh, your exclude view again go to exclude view check this option let's say simply okay 
so your excluded view will be there and go to 3d view so we'll have more realistic view more real view of your footing and your modeling so in this way you can model the foundation and their respective columns come back again suppose if you are dealing with a very big project hello yes, sir. And, and and suppose you are you are uh, not able to identify which column is rectangular which column is square like here it is small and uh, very very minor changes are very great changes are there so you can identify yeah it is rectangular it is rectangular it is rectangular okay don't don't uh, compare it uh, with the with the dimension suppose if you are going to find the uh, by the depth if you want to know the uh, similar depth foundations or same section size of the foundation so how you can but while defining the slab property could define good slab property what i told you like f1 is having the color of what hello green green so if suppose i want to know where is my f1 footing where is my f1 footing how i can how i come to know where is my f1 footing so just go to set display option i would like to see my model by the section properties section property means what color of the, see view by color of hello yes sir view by color of so i would like to see i, I would like to see uh, the sections uh, uh, like footings by the section property section means what slab property go to define go to slab property go to modify f1 footing is having the green color and your uh, f2 is having the color of what uh, this orange color so orange. okay so okay go to set display option go to section property plus your your column your column is having what 230 by 600 what is the color blue color blue and uh, this square column is having what this uh, magenta color yeah. i think hello let's say simply okay go to set display option and go to say section of property let's say simply okay hello is it visible yes sir yes sir yes sir is that all clear take the 3d view now it is the more uh, means interesting view is there go to set display option go to exclude view let's say simply okay hello yes sir you are with me or not yes sir how to practice with software i am not dealing with the concept i am not dealing how to design i am not trying to explain how to validate i am not uh, talking anything about i am just i just want to make uh, you aware with uh, how you can use this software how you can make your work as more easy getting or not yes sir getting okay so come to the plan view again so this is the thing undeformed shape this is what undeformed shape again go back to set display option and material properties so material properties say okay by material properties so all the concrete will define only one material is there like concrete actually your steel will be inside or outside or concrete will be inside or outside what will be outside steel inside or concrete will be what concrete outside so your outside. view will be what by the concrete color or by the steel color tell me concrete very good so go to define concrete. go to material property go to concrete what is the color of your concrete i am going to change it to what uh, this color okay let's say blue color so okay 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 now is it okay hello yes sir yes sir take the 3d view like go to option so this is all what selected groups very very important very interesting hello selected groups what is the application Sorry. of this selected group suppose like uh dekhiye uh kya hota hai uh hum logo ko schedule banana hota hai hello you are with me yes sir yes sir yes sir bahut important point discuss kar raha hu main you are with me yes sir dekhiye suppose uh like we are going to design this project and after designing what i am getting 
uh, what I am getting, suppose this footing, suppose here how many number of footing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 and 24, how many number of footings are there, 24, 24, suppose if you are dealing any project where number of footing is 240, hello, is it possible or yes, not, sir. tell me first, or it is yes, ideal possible. condition, Yes, uh, possible. Possible. 240 footings are there. Suppose you are dealing that kind of project. In that situation, suppose like 40 columns, sorry, 40 footings, design section sizes and design reinforcement in both of the directions are same. Means for 40 footings, design section sizes, everything is same. So how will you remember that? Like this putting, this putting, this putting, this putting is same. How will you remember? Yes, sir. Will you? It will be difficult or not when you are going to prepare actually yes, the yes, schedule. Ajinath, see Nawaz sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Taufik, Chandradev. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will let you know. What is the application of this selected group? Very important. It is not, it's not just for the fun. This is not just for the entertainment. I, I would like to know what is the app. Even, even for this kind of project, you can use that, that option. Very interesting, important option it is. So suppose, like uh, what, if suppose uh, three footing. So what you need to do? Uh, you need to left this software. You need to first prepare the uh, schedule. You need to left this software, you need to first prepare this schedule. Then you need to come back to software, again find the similar footings, similar reinforcement, then you need to prepare the schedule for that. Again and again you need to switch the software. But it will be better or not if uh, one time you will complete the design, one time you are preparing the schedule. It will be better or not? Yes sir, better. Better. So, to avoid that kind of uh, uh, problems and time, uh, means, uh, the unnecessary time will be required and confusion will be there. So the option is there, suppose, suppose this footing, suppose this footing, this footing, this footing, sorry, undo, this footing, this footing, for an example, Clearly, this footing suppose this footing just for example okay this footing and this this four footing having the same section size same reinforcement same everything I can take these two uh, four footing four footing in the same group while preparing the schedule yes, so what I will do I will take this footing sorry what happening okay clear this this footing is there this one this one this one, this one, or this one. Then, go to define. I am going to create a group. Click over the group. And, I will write here as, as uh, group first. What? Hello? Group? First. Or any title you can write for your convenience, for your ease. And uh, I am take the color as red. Let us say simply OK. Sorry. Go to modify. Uh, go to define. Go to groups. And just click. OK. I need to change it to what? Uh, any other color. Let us say uh, black color. Hello. Let us say simply OK. Now, these four, five, five footings are actually selected. Now, go to assign. Go to uh, assign to group. And I am going to assign this all footing to this particular group and let's say simply OK. Hello. Is that all clear? Hello. Repeat one, sir. Sorry? Repeat one. Okay. Very simple. Suppose for this footing and for, uh, sorry, some limited, some, some selected footings are there. Suppose this footing, this footing, this footing. So what I need to define a new group. Go to define, go to define group. I am creating one group and deciding the color of this group. Hello. Group yes, first. Sir. 
so okay let's say simply okay then you have to select the uh, footing for which uh, your uh, section size your depth uh, your uh, uh, your your reinforcements are same select those all footings and then after selecting those all footing then go to assign then go to assign then uh, suppose this slab is there okay then go to assign then go to slab slab data sorry assign sorry go to assign group and under this select your group and then simply say okay so that will be assigned to that group and once you done this now when you are going to prepare the schedule so you will get you will be confused which footings are having the similar reinforcement will you know that will you remember that hello no sir no so that it will help you go to set display option and go to groups selected groups then go to modify uh, this i would like to see this group first let's say simply okay so okay hello why this showing for all sorry okay okay let me check this this one this one this three about this then go to go to define go to groups and this i will have to take uh, as a uh, yellow one change it to this color as yellow one and this selected four slabs go to assign go to assign to group and this one replace group okay yeah see hello Yes, sir. Is it visible? So yes. once I I will I will have this kind of view. So I will pre, I will concentrate on this this four footing only. I will prepare the schedule for this. Then I will look for the other group. Then I will prepare the schedule for that. So it will be easy for me or not? Sir Nawaz sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So that is what the application. So I hope you all uh, uh, understood the importance of view by the color. Is that clear? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, if suppose you want to know, okay, and deform shape, close this and deform shape, and go to object, go to object, say okay, normal view, and uh, go to set display option. If suppose you want to have the label, so check this label. Let's say simply uh, say okay. So the labels of uh, your points are actually available here. So display this area property. So okay, what is the property? So this is what F two two by three, uh, three by three M twenty. Okay, if uh, uh, if you want if you want to see this rectangular, it is two by three M twenty grade. So what is the section label? Section name. So that will be available here. Yeah, and how you can make this to be visible? Go to set display option, and in this property, if you are checking, if you check this, so that will be there. If you uncheck this, that will not be there. Is that all clear? Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So this is all very simple. So what we have learned uh, till now, how to model the slab, how to model the uh, slab means foundation slab, how to model the columns. then uh, how to decide the orientation okay how to model the grid lines uh, how to view your model by the colors how to view the excluded views uh, so that all things we have covered is that all okay yes sir hello yes sir so i hope uh, you have learned so many things in this session and so many things are remaining so many things are remaining so everything we will we will cover uh, uh, okay hello okay sir okay so this is all about today